Word had been spreading for months about a cemetery where dead things moved. Undead things. The clan elders dismissed it as just rumors. Called my investigation a fool's errand. They told me I was too young. They told me I needed more training. I told them... I was already dead. So what's the worst that could happen? The clan elders were wrong. The dead do rise here. But they'll never learn the truth about this place. I'll destroy it before I let them learn its secrets. There were also rumors of a scientist the townsfolk had called the Conductor. Something about trying to harness lightning? These metal veins... I can feel them pulsing with life. Maybe I can follow them to their beating heart. We're not all that different, you know. We may serve different masters, but we're both puppets, dancing from a string. My strings aren't so easily cut. Time to find the hand pulling your strings. I didn't ask to be turned. They took away everything that was dear to me and left me to wander forever in the darkness. I have to feed. I have to obey the clan. I may not be able to stop the vampire clans, but I can stop this scientist from keeping even more souls from the afterlife. Fitting that your laboratory is in a crypt. After I kill you, I won't have to bother with a burial. Why ever would you kill me? I'm pushing science centuries beyond anyone's comprehension. I'm creating life. Creating life? You're cheating death. Bending lost souls to your will. They don't want your science. They crave freedom. I should know. Oh, I see. You want to be human again. I may be able to do that with this. I admit I don't completely understand it, but the loot has... is... power. No. No, you've meddled enough with life and death. This ends now. They told me I was too young. They told me I needed more training. Huh? I told them to drop dead. How ironic. I don't know how I survived that fall. Something strange must have happened. My pulse is beating like a drum, but my blood is running cold. 
I'm not sure what's going on, but I came here with a question. And I'm gonna find the answer if it kills me. Dad was always coming and going on his adventures. But this time he seemed more excited. He said he'd found it, some great treasure. When I was older, I found the notes he left behind. Directions to a graveyard. Uncle Eli tried to stop me. But Dad had been gone for two years. I had to find him. <laughs> we were so happy together. Until my mother got sick. I just want to help you, Melody. Can't you see that? There's a reason my mother took that thing away, Dorian. Don't go. I have to find it. I... I have to risk it. Dad? Cadence, I'm sorry. I was under his spell. Leaving so soon? I guess you don't have the heart to face me. <laughs> I think I know how to defeat him, Cadence. But we'll have to work together. Follow my lead. All along, it was a golden loot you were after. But why? You're about to find out. brought me back, using the power of the golden loot. But we soon discovered that the loot has its restrictions. To stay alive, we must keep playing. And the longer we play, the more it robs us of our humanity. But I know something about the crypt that they don't. And now I need answers. It was the same plague that had come through our village when I was a child. Dorian knew the stories. I just need to find the golden loot. I can save you! I could see the greed in his eyes, behind the desperation. It was just like before. My mother left us to get rid of the loot, just like she left us to find it. And now I've inherited her burden, but I'll be damned if I'm going to pass it on to my daughter. The plague had been through the village when I was young. Mom healed the people who were dying, but they turned against her. They wanted the power of the loot for themselves. It's not the loot that's cursed. It's us. You're Octavian, aren't you? The bard who sought immortality long ago. I am. And who are you? Besides a thief. I am Melody, a bard as you once were. I seek to destroy this accursed loot. You want to destroy it? The loot is mine! But I have the loot, Octavian. And if I stop playing, we'll both die. Tell me everything you know. I will. Not! Stop! Get, get away from me! What? Mother, is that you? I came back to destroy the loot. I revived the Necrodancer to seek answers, but he betrayed me. You left us. You never came back. I did what I thought I had to, but I failed. I blamed you for so long, but I understand now. This thing must be destroyed. That's right, and only I know how to do it.
When I came back, I raised him. Octavian, I know who you are. We need to destroy this loot. It was not meant for mortal hands. You're right. I will sacrifice myself to destroy it. I can't trust anyone else with this. I have already been cursed. Let me atone for what I have done. I was a fool. <laughs> Centuries ago, Octavian fled to the crypt and amassed an undead army. But the first time I found the crypt, there were no monsters. After hundreds of years without sleep, the bard had grown weary. He stopped playing, and so he died. The loot was lost to legend. Octavian was once a bard, struggling to be noticed. On his travels, he stumbled across the solution to his troubles. Before he betrayed me, he told me the location of the shrine. No doubt just to buy himself more time. Let's end this. Finally, I've made amends. Everything comes to an end, my daughter. But for you and your family, not today.
Congratulations! If I'm gonna survive this, I'll have to remember what Uncle Eli taught me. Every planet has a predictable pattern. Learn that pattern and you won't suffer so much as a scratch. That green guy didn't move at all, and this blue one just moves up and then down, so if I attack him from the side, he will never be hurt. A broadsword, not a sharp sword, but I bet it can still take out three enemies in one shot. Looks like those skeletons get their hands in there when they're about to jump. If I'm in the way when they move, it's gonna hurt. <laughs> that trap is mostly harmless, but Eli warned me of deadlier traps to come. 